We're going to continue to assemble our stairs in these boxes. As you see, we're getting all the way to the top. Once we get to the top, we'll figure out what we do. But come over here. We'll show you how we get the rise on. Here's how we address the issue of these, of these screw heads that are sticking up. See that? So we'll put the riser on roughly where we want it. And then you uh, put a smack. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate, but you'll see it leaves a dimple in it. Come over here and check this out. You see a little dimple? That's your easy mark. And you just take a drill bit. Preferably a drill oh, like this. There's a duck in this one here. This is key that doesn't really have it. It doesn't have what it takes. It's having a really hard time. that black and yellow works for you there. Try that. So look at the look at the wobble on that. Chuck wobble. It goes through it even too easy. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Chuck wobble. Yeah. All right. So now we know that the hole is big, so we have some ability to adjust. The hole is much bigger than the screw, but now it'll keep it nice and tight where we want it. So next we're going to put the uh, side runners on. You have that? Here, you take that one. Put this one here. Let's put it on while it's low. I think I got to adjust this one here. Dang. Beautiful hand line in the mud. Okay, I got to pick this up a little bit and get it marked out. A little bit more slippery to work with than wood. That's one of the things that you notice. And this is not my belt, so I'm not used to putting my hammer behind my back. It's just not something I've ever done. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, got it. All right. This thing doesn't work. Why is that, I wonder? Just reached this last day. It won't even, it won't even reverse out. It's got... On drill mode? Yeah. She's got nothing to it. We got a hand walking. <laughs> yeah, this thing's seen better days, that's for sure. Wow, what a, what a piece of garbage. Even this got stuck in there. Okay, so we'll use this instead. What else we got? Damn, marks don't show up. Right against my leg. Okay, so here's how we do the bevels here. We want it to be perfect, so what I do is I get one ready here. And then in order to ensure that we get a perfect miter, even though the screw's gonna tow it in, we'll recess it back. See how it's recessed a little bit? This one's a little further back. So then when we screw, the screw's gonna pull it forward and bring it to a nice flush bevel for us. See that? Brilliant. We'll do the same thing with the bottom. So I'll get it started, and then I'll push it in back just a little to make sure that when we bring it in, we have a little bit of space. Beautiful, look at that, mint. All right, I'm gonna put a second, I'm gonna put a third one down the middle here. And then I'm going to tighten this one up just a smidge. 
Look at that, that is a beautiful, beautiful bevel joint. All right, so to get ready for this, I'm gonna put one here. In this case, we can screw, come over here. In this case, we can screw from composite to composite. Normally with composite, you can't screw composite to composite. It just doesn't hold. Definitely not end grain. And even with wood, screwing into end grain doesn't hold well. This stuff, the end grain actually holds better than with wood. Um, so we're really fortunate to be able to, to work with this stuff because we can do a lot more with it than we could do with traditional composite, composite. So in this case, we can go from composite to composite. No problem. Perfect connection. How's your, uh, how's your tolerance over there? I got about an eight. Same. Yeah, All right, send it in. Thing. Let's get it started. I'm gonna set her up. Get this level. You see the level here? You know how to read a level? Come here. It's real easy. Look at that. What we want is to look perfect and be level. So I'm gonna lift it up a little. Actually, perfect is level in this case. Look at that. And then when I go to put my blue star in there, a couple of these uh, metal screws. Put the, make sure the bubble's on. We can go in here. That's level, brother. You want to grab this one and stretch it across the back? Do the same thing across the back. Come on oh. over here. This one's a little trickier. So come on over here. Come look at this bevel. I can see nothing from where you are. All right, so we can see it's got to be pulled this way. So if anything, we got to make our decision now. We want to pull it this way, so we're going to make our decision to come in this way to start. That way we can be in control of the joint as we're trying to fasten it, because we're not in a wood shop, we're in the field, so we got to be smart. Oh, yeah. Close that sucker up. Drive that sucker home. Oh, got it. All right. Got a little bit of fray there. Our blade got a little dull on us. I give it one, two, three magic rubs like that. She disappears. More cuts in a Hollywood movie, you know what I'm saying? Like a director. Cut. 